Welcome everyone to another Khan Academy tutorial. Today we are finding angle measures between intersecting lines. I'm Mr. West, let's get started. Here we have uh, some angles here. It looks like we have about four intersecting lines and we're asked to find the measure of X. Uh, this one's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, there's a lot of nonsense, as I like to say, just stuff you don't need uh, written here. And as you can tell that these two angles, the blue one, 133, and the green one, X, they together form this straight line that I drew in orange, which we could call CD if we wanted to. I'm just doing that just to show you what that looks like. But what we see from these two, if they form a line that's called a linear pair, means they add up to 180 degrees or they are supplementary. So their sum is 180 degrees. What do we do with that information? Well, we just set x equal, well, with the sum of 133, e that's an ugly three, equal to 180. And that's the bottom line. Uh, so we just subtract 133 to get x by itself from both sides. And we get 47 degrees equals x. So we're going to go ahead and put uh, 47 degrees here. Hopefully the next one's a little bit tougher. That was a pretty easy one to start with. All right, next question. Okay, now we have a little bit more going on this time, which is kind of good. Uh, but if we look here, we see 50 and 20, and then we see x on the other side. Now, this is a special case called vertical angles. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm trying to show the lines that X falls between. Okay, so these two lines contain X. Now these are opposite rays. What is an opposite ray? An opposite ray is where we have uh, a point here and then rays going in either direction of that point. And as you can see, both of the legs or the arms of this angle X are formed by two different, uh, what do you call that? Opposite rays. Now look at 50 and 20. You can see that they are formed by the same opposite rays. So vertical angles are angles that, how can I say, what did I say again? <laughs> angles that are angles that uh, have the same opposite rays forming their arms. Okay. Or if you're reading Hemingway, then you're gonna have a farewell to arms. But anyway, so now we have 50 and 20. That whole side there, which I'll make in, what would be a good color here? I guess this purple color. This whole side is 70. The rule for opposite rays, or excuse me, for vertical angles formed by opposite rays are that they are equal to each other. So X is going to be equal to 70 because they are vertical angles. So we're gonna write in 70 for X. And that's our answer. All right, next one. Ooh, a little bit tougher now. Okay, now before we talked about a linear pair, this one's not a pair because there's more than uh, one, there's line FE. There's one, more than one angle that compose this, or more than two angles that compose this line. But you can see here, we have three angles here. We have 23 at the top. We have this one right here. And then we have X at the bottom. We're trying to find X. And all three of these angles are on this line FE. Well, we know that FE is gonna be equal to 180 degrees because it is a straight angle. It's a uh, line, okay? We know that this symbol here means it's 90 degrees, so now we can create an equation that expresses this relationship between these three terms. And that is 23 plus 90 plus my buddy X equals 180. Now we just solve for X. So we could combine ter like terms first, we could combine those two, and we get, what is that, uh, 113? That's 110, 113 plus X equals 180. And then we're gonna subtract 113 from both sides. Let me say 67. So we get 67 equals X. And that's our final answer. 
So that missing angle was 67 because we need 67 degrees to get it to 180 for those three angles. So 67 is our answer. Great work, you got it, one more. Okay, uh, looks like a similar scenario here um, where we have three angles that compose this uh, whoops, linear relationship. I swear I keep hitting orange there. So we, it looks like we have line DF here, and then we have three angles composing line DF, and that is 64, which I don't think I have the color purple. Hmm. That's not fair. 64 plus X plus 60 equals 180. Okay, so these need to equal up to 180 because it's a straight angle. And those are the three angles that compose it. So what we're gonna do is we do 64 plus 60, that equals 124 plus X equals 180. Don't mind the colors, 124 minus 124, uh, 180 minus uh, 120 is 60 minus four more is gonna give me 54 degrees. So that is our missing value there. And that looks to be about it. Oh my goodness. Did I do some subtraction wrong? Let's just check here. So 64, 60, 60, 124, subtract it, we get 60. Hmm, something doesn't look right. So we got, let me array, do some erasing here, see if I may have missed something. 124, here's 60 plus 64, 124. It's early in the morning, so I may have made a mistake somewhere, but I'm not seeing where I made this mistake. 180 minus 64 minus 60. Because <laughs> it's, it's 56. <laughs> oh boy, that's a disaster. Okay, 56. I don't know how I got 54. All right, we need some more sleep. Oops. Got to type it in. Doesn't see me writing it. 56. Okay, so make sure you double check your answer, double check your, your work before submitting. Clearly, I wasn't thinking straight, but you'll be hearing this sound. Oh, it didn't do the sound? Usually it does the sound. Maybe it's because I messed it up. But anyway, hope you found this helpful and uh, make sure you always check your work. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. The process remains the same. Just don't uh, make silly addition and subtraction errors like I did. And until next time, be good, be kind, be true, be nice, and be honest. Have a great one.